I'd like to say thank you on behalf of Forced Entertainment for this International Ibsen Award. We're really honoured and excited that the work has been recognised in this way. The award comes uh, as a kind of marking of a 32-year collaboration in the company, a collaboration which has seen us trying to reinvent and experiment inside the form of theatre to make performances that we hope can really speak into the times that we're living in. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank the collaborators that we've worked with over a very long period of time in the company, to thank also the funders, the programmers, the curators, the venues and the festivals that we've worked with to help us deliver the work over that long period of time. We see this award as not only acknowledging the company's work, but also as a kind of nod of recognition to a much wider field of contemporary performance, away from the literary mainstream, in the kind of field that we've been working in, which is very important to us, where artists have been working as groups, through improvisation, through devising processes, and all kinds of ways of shaking up, not just what theatre might be like as an experience for audiences, but challenging the ways in which theatre is made. And that seems to us to be a really extraordinary thing about the company being given the award, that it also nods to this much wider field. Thank you. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm getting something, I'm, get, I'm picking something up. Following the success of our casual Friday dress code, we tried to introduce a naked Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> but the other staff members didn't play ball. We couldn't act. There was nothing inside to come out. <laughs> when they made a list of what was wrong with England, our names were near the top. 